Okay, Oak Rovers, this is going to be a video to help you find the arc length of a sector if you're given the interior angle. Now, there's a few things I need to define in the title so you know what we're looking for. The first one I'm going to talk about is a sector. A sector of a circle is just part of a circle. This green shape is part of a larger circle, and I'm only looking at just a portion of it, but the portion I'm looking at is called a sector of a circle. The interior angle is going to be the angle from this side to that side right there. So that angle right there is my interior angle. And then the last part is arc length. Now if I had a larger circle, this arc length I would be looking at would be just from A to B. It would be along this curved edge of the circle that goes all the way from A down to B. Now there's two parts of the circle I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the total circle, and I'm going to be using the sector of the circle. And there's also two variables I'm going to look at. I know that this sector has an angle of 22 degrees, and I know that the total circle has 360 degrees in it. So I'm going to use my angle, because I know two variables. I know both the angle of the sector and the angle of the circle. And I'm also going to use my arc length. Now let me show you what I mean by that. This arc length is part of the circumference of the circle. This is what I'm trying to find, and this arc length is part of the circumference of the circle. Since I'm trying to find the arc length of that sector, I'm going to put the letter X there. I know that the interior angle is 22 degrees, so I'll put 22 there, the angle of the sector, and I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle. So I'm going to put 360 degrees down there. Now the last little spot I have here is the arc length of the circle. And if you think about it, the arc length of a circle is really just the circumference of a circle, the distance all the way around the circle. And I know that the formula for circumference of a circle is diameter times pi. And I know my radius in this problem is 13 centimeters so my diameter has to be 26 centimeters. So what I'm going to put down here is the circumference after I solve it. So I have to do a little bit of work, but that's easy enough. I have circumference is equal to diameter times pi. So circumference is equal to 26 times pi. And if I take 26 times 3.14, I get 81.64. So that's the length that I'm going to put down there. From this information, I have kind of created a little proportion. I have the angle of a sector, the arc length of a sector, the angle of a circle, the circumference or arc length of a circle. And now I can cross multiply. The way I do that is I take x times 360 and set that equal to 22 times 81.64, just like this. Then I multiply both sides. 360 times x is just 360x. 22.81.64 is going to be 1,796.8. Now to solve for x, all I have to do is divide both sides by 360. I'm doing that because I'm undoing multiplying x by 360. And when I do that, my x is equal to about 5 centimeters. Now, if this is really 22 degrees, this length from a to b would be about 5 centimeters. Hopefully this video helps you find the arc length of a sector if you're given the interior angle. Go back and look at my other video where you have to find the area of a sector if you're given the interior angle also. You should be able to find the arc length or the area if you're given an interior angle. Hopefully this helps. Look at the videos and make sure you show all your work when you take your tests and quizzes. Thanks.